There is a loser, waste of human air, waste of space in America douchebag sitting in an Erie County, New York jail right now because he chose, because he got mad, got some road rage, oh, poor baby, to shoot at another truck and almost hit the two women that were in the truck, driver and passenger, and a 10-year-old girl that was sleeping in the back. So guys, I'm just going to read this article to you and then, and then we'll talk about it. This is from uh, WBEN 930 AM out of Buffalo, New York, and uh, says road rage incident happened or led to a shooting near the I-290 exit. I'm very familiar with this section of road. I spent a lot of times there. It's a lot of congestion, uh, pretty much any daytime hours, but this happened at 7.45 a.m., so it would have been even worse. You just got to deal with it. But an Ohio tractor trailer driver, I lose that, just the article says it. He's nothing now. He's nothing, just a waste of space. Faces attempted murder and other charges after a road rage incident Monday morning along the I-90 West. He's also charged with sideswiping another vehicle. It was around 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday when state police say the road rage incident took place between two tractor trailer drivers on the New York, or New York State Thruway in Buffalo. It happened back around the Pembroke exit and eventually escalated as things went on. Detailed State Trooper James O'Callaghan with WBEN. That 26 year old, yeah, taking shots at the other truck, putting everybody obviously in danger. According to O'Callaghan, there were three people in the other tractor trailer, but no one was hit by gunfire, thank God. One of those was a 10 year old girl who was sleeping in the sleeper berth, inches away from one of the bullets. Inches away from one of the bullets. The suspect, 26-year-old Dylan Cottingham, kept going and then sideswiped a passenger car. He was eventually pulled over on Union Road near Walden Avenue in Cheektowaga. O'Colligan says road rage incidents do happen often along the thruway, especially as people are distracted or using their phones while they drive. What's not common is when people act on it by shooting other vehicles or taking things into their own hands instead of calling 911, O'Callaghan says. Cottingham is charged with attempted murder, criminal possession of a weapon, reckless endangerment, criminal mischief, and menacing. He's being held without bail. Good. Let's talk a little bit about the three passengers in the other truck, and then we'll talk a little bit about what I could find out about... Uh, Dylan Cottingham and where he worked. So the other truck uh, had two females in it, a driver and passenger, and then a 10 year old sleeping in the back. And I know I'm gonna get comments, can't wait for the comments. The truck is a no place, is no place for a child or shouldn't have been riding around in a truck. And, and you're talking to the wrong person for that because I grew up in a truck. I mean, I, I, you know, I spent every hour I possibly could over the summer you know, in my dad's truck going down the road. Some of my best memories are in the truck going down the road. And I've got to believe it's why I love trucks so much now in the trucking industry. So you're talking to the wrong person that, uh, about that. Uh, I think that, you know, truck drivers spend a lot of time on the road. And if, uh, you know, especially summer times or over Christmas vacations or something, if they can ride with their parents that spend so much time on the road, I think, you know, it's a great thing. Uh, I think it was some of my best bonding time as a as a child, and, and yeah. So, if you got that comment, save it. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person about that, because I I think it's a great way for for kids to grow up, and I love it. But anyway, ten year old child was sleeping in the back. By the way, that is not illegal. Some people are going to say it's illegal. It is not. Trucks have seat belts in the back, and I'd like to, it doesn't say anything about it. So we'll just assume that that 10 year old child was buckled in their seatbelts, not necessarily go over you. For those of you that don't drive trucks or don't know, a lot of times they're just, they they make a net or a loose net over you, but all trucks have them. Uh, yeah, I mean, my, my truck has it top and bottom. Uh, although sleeping on a top bunk, that can be, uh, 
yeah, going down the road, that, that can be a bit different, rocking back and forth. Anyway, so, yeah, so there was a young child in there. Uh, I don't know which one of the women's children it was. Could have been both of them. I don't know if they were a couple. I don't know if they were team drivers. Uh, but either way, there was a 10-year-old child in the back. And But Rob, he didn't know there was a 10-year-old child in the back. doesn't matter. He opened fire in rush hour in Buffalo traffic in a very congested area. Uh, and usually through that area, traffic is moving. It's very congested. It's moving slowly. There's a lot of exits right there in a short period. and But it's not like it's always stop and go in that area. Usually it is moving steadily. So, yeah. What a shame. Uh, apparently, as soon as they got shot at, the... the uh, the woman who was driving did pull over and then they caught the rest later. Uh, but this, this Dylan, this Dylan, oh, uh, yeah, Dylan, uh, sorry, I said, almost used the cop's name, but, uh, um, yeah, this Dylan Cottingham, he does have a Facebook page and doesn't have much on it. Oh, he has like 70 friends. Uh, has a picture of a real nice fancy Peterbilt in the front, but that's not what he was driving because it says that he drives over the road for Snyder National. And, well, he doesn't anymore. Let's talk about what was on his Facebook page. All right, so Dylan's Facebook page here, and it's got to be the same one. I, I, Yeah, I mean, Dylan Cottingham, it's not a real common name, Sullivan, Ohio. So this is one of those ones that apparently he shared a link and it says the content is not available right now. Uh, it's not there. So I don't even know what sparked him to say this, but this was from August 28th, 2023. So almost a year ago or 11 months ago. Again, I don't know. <laughs> so when are we going to stand together and fight the war on American soil put on by the tyrants in the government and the war on food with the elite terrorist Bill Gates and his posse. <sighs> Brothers and sisters, the tree of liberty is calling. It is time to prune the branches of despair, to fertilize the roots with the blood of the tyrants and to flee her grasses of the snakes. We united will rise from the ashes divided we will fall to the flame. I think he meant to say, or we will fall to the flame. I, I actually read this about 10 times now. What the hell is he saying? Anyway, another news article here says, uh, there is another new news article that explains more. Once they pulled him over, they got a warrant to search the truck. Uh, of course, uh, I don't know if he gave permission or not, but police procedure would say because they know this is a serious incident they would want the warrant right away hold him till they make sure they have the warrant and then they're totally okay whether he gave permission or not especially since it's not his truck i gotta assume it was snyder national's truck in the truck they found the 45 45 caliber he used to shoot and multiple loaded magazines that he did not have a permit for in ohio so, yeah, this is just, this is getting out of hand. I, I understand road rage. I've been on both sides, but I have people get mad at me. I, I, there are a lot of people that think I'm number one in this world. And I've, I've been on the opposite side of it. I don't remember a time I, I don't carry a gun in my truck. Uh, I don't know. I'd like to, but. I do a lot of government loads and stuff, but I don't carry a gun. I'm not anti-gun at all. If anything, I, I love guns and I think in the right hands, they're, they're great things. And yeah, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. He found all this in the truck. He didn't have a permit for it. And I have never in any situation 